Hey athletes, family, friends, and coaches. We want to welcome you to the Northeast Regional uh, Championship hosted by WNL. Um, at our regional championship event, we are going to be running our challenge course here. Uh, you will have the two formats still, just the flow and the challenge, but this demonstration is going to be for your challenge course. Um, the challenge course format allows the athletes to fail and retry an obstacle. Athletes will be given two retries throughout the duration of their run. However, one retry can be used per obstacle. So if an athlete fails an obstacle, they have the ability to retry it and then the course will be reset. And then the athlete may uh, return to the start platform. The referee will then count you back in for you to restart that uh, obstacle you just failed. Um, do, 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 do. So if you fail the same obstacle two times in a row, you will be, your course run will be over. Um, the winner of the challenge course will be the athlete that has made it the furthest, the fastest. So uh, now we are going to start to go through the rules for the challenge course format. Um, first, we're going to start by introducing what the obstacle is. We're going to state whether there are hands and feet or both in play. Um, we want you all to remember that anything that is not mentioned in the rules is going to be assumed to be out of play. and. Um, also, anything that is mentioned in the rules for what is in play is what you'll be able to use. Um, once we have gone through it, we'll provide a description of the, of the obstacle, and then our wonderful demonstrator will be able to go and show you uh, the obstacle. We also want to state that platforms are not skippable due to the close proximity rule. And we want to make sure that everyone remembers to hit and engage the buzzer with a firm press down this is something that the World Ninja League and Ninja Works has recommended. We want to get that firm press of the bu buzzer to make sure that you have completed your run. After you have hit it, you will get uh, smoke and lights and all the fun, cool things that Ninja Works has provided for us uh, to show that you have completed your run. And um, that will be the, the, yeah, the full clear of that. We want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions about the course when you get in on site, make sure you reach out to one of the World Ninja League staff and we can help you prior to your run. We want to wish everyone the best of luck and we're going to jump here into the first obstacle. So heading on over to Andrew, who is our uh, demonstrator. We have our first obstacle here, which is going to be a parkour run. You will start on this red start platform here. You will be able to utilize uh, the black balance rails on the ground this uh, green trapezoid and this other black balance rail and you will end and finish on this red platform here. Uh, this is going to be a hands and feet obstacle and we'll have De Andrew demonstrate. That is a clear. This bar, first bar here is also in play uh, to help you finish out. It is also going to be the beginning of the next obstacle. This is the start platform of the next obstacle, so please remember to not overshoot it as it would be a uh, clear for the first obstacle, but then a fail for the second if you were to overshoot it. So going into our second obstacle, uh, this is going to be our pole grasper. We're going to have two demonstrations on this, one for uh, female and one for male. So this first version is preteen, sorry, is the preteen female and male. Um, the first version here is going to be for the females. You'll be able to utilize these vertical bars here, the red rings, and then your finished platform is going to be this red platform down here. This is just a finished platform, so if you were to overshoot it for some reason, that is perfectly fine as it is not the start platform for your next obstacle. This pole here is gonna have incidental contact, so please don't worry about it too much. All right, Andrew. <clears throat> Perfect. And once he has passed that plane and disengaged the obstacle, that is a clear. So moving now on to our male version of the course, a little bit lower, Sully. Yep, that's good. So we are going to end up dropping down this pole. This ring is gonna get pulled out of the way and you are going to then start again for the male version on this red platform here. Again, you'll be able to utilize this bar, all of these rings here, you'll be able to utilize the poles, come on through, use this, these rings again, and you will land on this red finished platform. 
So once we are all set, which I think we are, you need chalk or you're good. Okay, this is going to be the male version. Great, remember that pole has incidental contact, perfectly fine. And that is a clear once he has disengaged that rig. Perfect. All right, we're gonna move on over here to our next obstacle. This is going to be uh, the spider bite. And uh, this is going to be a hands-only obstacle. Your green platform here is gonna be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize this ring, uh, the black spider webs here and here. And your finished platform is going to be this green platform over here. This is for a demonstration for both the male and female. Perfect, and that is a clear of that obstacle. Moving on to our next obstacle is going to be our pipe slider. So you will be able to utilize this bar here. Um, sorry, this is your start platform. It is also the finished platform of your last obstacle. So please make sure to not overshoot it. Um, you will be able to utilize this bar. So slide on down and you will land on this red platform here. Uh, we're gonna do two versions of this, one for male and one for female. So this first version is going to be the preteen uh, female slider. Andrew? Perfect, and that is a clear. He's gonna make his way back. <clears throat> All right, the dismount for the males is gonna be slightly further. Again, your start platform is the green mat here. You will be able to then utilize this bar. It'll slide on through and you will use this red platform here as your finished platform. Andrew? And clear. All right, way to fight through it. <laughs> Next obstacle is going to be um, our full throttle. You'll be able to utilize the blue tops of these obstacles here. This pull pad is in play to be able to help yourself down um, to push on through. And your landing platform is going to be this platform here. This is a feet only obstacle. And this is the demonstration for both male and female. Andrew? Great, and this pole here is in play to be able to use to stabilize yourself. Feel free to use it. All right, moving on to our next obstacle is going to be our up for grabs. There's gonna be two versions on here. First is going to be the female. Again, start platform. You'll be able to utilize this trapeze. These two red rings, this bar is in play, and this red platform on top here, the red platform is your finished platform. This is the start platform for your next obstacle, so please make sure that you stay on it so you do not fail the uh, next obstacle. Um, Andrew? Great job. We're gonna do our second demonstration here, which is going to be for the preteen males. So we gotta just do a quick change out. Again, your start platform is going to be this red step here. You will be able to utilize this pole if needed, and you are gonna have the trapeze in play. This ax is going to be in play for you, and then you will land on this red finished platform here. Andrew? <clears throat> And clear. Remember, this is the finished platform and a start platform, so please do not overshoot it, um, as you would fail the next obstacle if you did. All right, moving on to our next obstacle. Um, we are going to be going through our lily pad lane. Um, this is going to be able to have your start platform right here, and you'll be able to utilize the red block 
um, just the rail part of the balance rail, the lily pad, this red block, and your landing platform will be this blue pad here. We are going to do uh, this demonstration for both male and female for preteens. And Andrew? That is a clear. He has passed the plane and moved forward. It is not the start platform of your next obstacle. So as long as you make that uh, touch here and move forward, sideways, whatever, that is a clear. So thank you for showing that, Andrew. I know that was on purpose. <laughs> All right. Do you need chalk? Uh, sure. Yep, my bad. Ooh. All right. So the next obstacle is going to be our cliffhangers. <clears throat> so here we will have two demonstrations of the cliffhanger. And uh, first is going to be the female demonstration. This is gonna be your start platform right here. You'll be able to utilize the cliffs on both sides of the front, this ring, T ledge, the cliffs here, ring, any of the cliffs on both faces, you'd be able to utilize. So here and this side down and your landing platform is going to be uh, this red platform here. Sorry, that got pushed back from before. And Andrew, this is your female preteen demonstration. And that is a clear. All right, making our way back to the front here, we are going to move on to our male demonstration. Do you need more chalk? Okay. All right, again, start platform is the red. You'll be able to utilize the cliffs here. It is now just a T ledge that is in here. This ledge all holds on this part and your landing platform is the red. All right, Andrew? All right, and that is a clear. All right, moving on over to this red platform here. We are gonna have our next obstacle, which is the maker steps. This red platform that Andrew is standing on is going to be your start platform. You will be able to utilize the T-bar that's on the bottom, the devil steps that go up, and then the three T-bars that go across and land. Uh, this is gonna be the preteen uh, female version, and then we will do a male version after uh, the female. So again, your green platform here is gonna be your finished platform. It is not the start platform of your next obstacle, so if, as long as you cl clear the plane and make contact with the platform, you would have completed this obstacle. Andrew? Well done. All right, and that was the female version. We are gonna now move and make one slight modification for those preteen males, because we know you're uh, gonna have a slight change here. Doo, doo, doo. <clears throat> so the slight modification is going to be the, um, there's going to be one book that goes into place. You're gonna have this red platform here again as your start platform and You'll be able to utilize the T-bar here, the devil steps that work their way up, and then angle it more towards you, Sully, the bottom, pull it up, there you go. Um, you will be able to then utilize this T, this book, uh, that T, and then also land on the green platform there. Do you need chalk? Top of the book is in play. Yep, all parts of the book is in play. and clear all right so that has completed our maker steps there we're going to move on to the next obstacle which is going to be our deja vu so you will um, have two versions here as one for female and one for male the first version is going to be for the females you will be able to utilize this bar here 
and then your landing platform is going to be this blue mat here. So, um, Andrew? <clears throat> and clear so we are going to make that quick change so like, can you grab that bar and then for the nails you are going to have just the green landing platform so we'll go through it again the red platform here is your star platform the how good is he i got it thanks yep sorry really hard All right, so now that we got that reset, this is going to be the red platform here is for the start. The bar is going to be in play. You will also be able to utilize um, any of these bars that are here if needed, and you will land on this green platform as your landing platform. All right, Andrew? <clears throat> So that is a start stop platform. So if you were to overshoot it like that happened, that would be a completion for the first obstacle, but a fail for the next. So please make sure that you stick that landing. All right, moving on to our next obstacle. Do you need chalk? Okay, um, is going to be our cannonball alley. Um, you will utilize this green platform as your start platform. The uh, balls here are all in play and your landing platform is going to be this red box here. Uh, this is going to be both for the male and female course. All right, and clear. Making our way over this way. <clears throat> we are going to move on to our um, rope cat back. Uh, for this obstacle, this is going to be for both the male and female. The rope is going to be uh, located here onto the wall for you to be able to grab. Your start platform is going to be that red box that Andrew's standing on. And your finish platform is going to be this green platform here. You will be able to utilize any of these bars or rings to help you be able to uh, launch off onto the landing platform. Um, so rope, bars, rings, whatever, that's all in play. Uh, this is the hands and feet obstacle. And Andrew, demonstration, please. And clear. All right, making our way over here to our second to last obstacle. <clears throat> we are gonna have our top hat crossing. Uh, and there will be two versions here, one for uh, male and one for female. Your start platform is going to be this purple mat here. You will be able to then utilize the holds that are in this line. So we have these individual holds, there are four of them. Please remember that the hardware on top is all out of play. You may utilize just the holds that are in play and on the top hats, red is the only thing in play. Uh, no black up here. So we're just getting onto the, the ledges here. You are going to then land on this red platform here and that will be the uh, female version of the top hat obstacle. All right, Andrew. Small top hat. Let's change up the second one. All right, and that is a clear. So making a slight modification here for our male athletes. They are going to have now two top hats. Again, red is the only thing in play on those. Your start platform is the purple. And you will then utilize these four holes. Remember, hardware is out of play. And the reds on the top hats. And you are going to land on that red platform to finish. And clear. On to our final obstacle, Angry Birds. This is going to be the same for both male and female. Uh, <clears throat> you're gonna be able to utilize the holds on the first two Angry Birds here, and then you'll be able to utilize the flying saucer and the ring to then make your dismount over to this red platform right here. Once you have dismounted, you will make your way across to the buzzer any way you seem fit, and Firmly press that button to have your full clear and let those ninja work uh, accessories go on off 
with our smoke and lights. So this is again for both male and female. And Andrew. Clear and finish. All right, so that was our challenge course for the preteen division. We wish you all the best of luck and we cannot wait to see you this weekend. Good luck.